Hello everyone! Today we're going to have a very special simple glam makeup look. We're going to start off with Maybelline New York Master Prime by Face Studio Blur and Redness Control Shade 300. We're going to put this all over our face and also our neck. Alright, make sure you get everything. Put it in every area of your face and then we go to grab our Real Techniques sponge and we put 5 pumps of Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse in Airbrush Finish shade 70 Pure Beige and since that shade is a little bit, sh little bit uh, light on me we're going to put some Bare Minerals ID and we're going to put that to darken the color of our foundation. We're going to dot it everywhere and make sure we spread a little bit of that darker powder everywhere else and make sure we blend using the Real Techniques sponge Alright, great, and make sure you also get your ears. Okay, look how beautiful of coverage that is. Very beautifully blended. Now we're going to get our Tarte Shape Tip Contour Concealer in medium. And although this is a very full coverage concealer, I, I started to, to put a little bit on and then the other side I put a little bit more because I just want to treat it as regular concealer and I just want full coverage everywhere. So this is how we regularly conceal, conceal sorry, and then we continue on, um, we go down the bridge of the nose and also on the chin and the cupid's bow as well. Yeah, cupid's bow chin and the jawline all right also make sure that you dip your your wand your concealer wand into the concealer because if you don't have enough concealer then this happens you have to dot it again Okay, so we're going to continue with our Real Technique sponge to make sure everything is blended in. And hopefully you get the chance to blend everything in because unfortunately I forgot to blend my chin. I forgot to blend in my chin with the rest of my face makeup. But we're just going to go in with our number 3 contour shade from Hard Candy Look Pro Ultimate Contour and Sculpt Kit in the shades light to medium. And we are going to emphasize on the nose. I just wanted to, to make sure you guys knew how I contour my nose just in case you guys were interested or curious to know how I actually conceal my nose. So we do this little square in the middle, well in the bottom to the tip, because we want to make it seem like we have a rounder nose, rounder tip in the bottom of our nose. And then, although this is a little bit light of a shade for me for contouring, I still work with it. It's fine. Well, we're not going to put any color ID on it because it is cream, but maybe that will be a good idea for next time. Well, make sure these lines are straight. Alright, I fix it. And then I continue on. There we go. And of course, we get a beauty blender. We get our wonderful Real Techniques sponge. And we continue blending, blending, blending. And fortunately, as I got to blend in everything, I also blended the remaining concealer that was left on my chin. That was great. I thought I, thought I was never going to... Oops, sorry. Somebody's calling me. Okay. There we go. Continue. 
just make sure you get everything blended After this, we are going to spray our face with some NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray because we want to set our face before we do any work on our eyes or any mascara, before we apply any mascara. So we're going to grab our Estee Lauder, um, Estee Lauder eyeshadow after we spray our NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray and we're gonna go in using our e.l.f. blending brush alright make sure you, you dry it up a little bit before you even go with the e.l.f. blending brush with the Honey Drop number 47 and I was a little bit harsh on my eye but I promise it did not hurt I do recommend to go a little bit softer but due to this eyeshadow palette being a little bit older I just decided to go a little bit harder on my eyes but this is a shade 47 honey drop and then after this we're going to continue with copper penny using the wood and wild crease brush copper penny is shade 54 okay we're ready for copper penny and there just put it on top right there okay and then we're gonna go back to the other eye make sure everything is even as even as we could make it okay so we are going to use NYX Stacked LL03 Mascara for our mascara. Although we only applied one coat, uh, maybe another coat would do well. Two or three coats, uh, depending on how you like your mascara. And before we even do that, sorry about that, before we even do that, we're gonna go with shade number four called Blend from the um sorry the hard candy look pro ultimate contour and sculpt kit i just want to make sure we just put it using um this wonderful brush that came with the the kit the the thinner side is for for the contour and any cream colors that are there there's also um, concealing products and the other side is just for mixing and also for blending in the powders that are there and here is my mascara me applying my mascara it took me two minutes in real time and honestly did not work very well because I got a restock on my mascaras but I think it came out pretty well once I put on my su surprise product you'll see how very wonderful how how great this looks it's not very dramatic but it's a little bit you know glam but on the the least expensive side okay and yeah here we go boom we have our prestige cosmetics liquid eyeliner extreme long lasting waterproof eyeliner in the shade LE01 black yes that was a very big what we call upgrade we went from very little darkness in there and the eyes and then we had some Gabriella long lasting soft type eyeliner in the lower lash line in the shade dark brown now we're just going in for Milani Cosmetics 05 Coral Cold powder blush and we use our powder um, powder, um, sorry, the powder blush brush, and and then we just go in right now using our Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlighting powder in the shade 322B, Crown of My Canopy, using our Eco Tools highlight brush. And for the very last two things, we're going to use our Bermont. D31 lip liner 
that I'm using right now. And next, we're going to apply some L'Oreal Paris Infallible Paints 312 Nude Star. But after we apply it, we're going to dab it with a little piece of, of tissue paper. And we're going to make sure it's not too dramatic. So it's a little bit softer, you know, softer of a glam, not, not very glossy, but softer. So, here we go. And we are going to actually sculpt this look. We're going to put it on the middle, on the sides, on the sides, and the top. Okay, and there. And also clean up a little bit if you have anything overdrawn. Then here is the final look. And also I would attach some pictures so you guys could see different views of this look. I hope you enjoyed this video, today's video. I enjoy. I hope um, you enjoyed as much watching the video as much as, as I enjoyed doing this video. Um, like, comment, subscribe, um, leave any comments, questions, comments, concerns on the description, I'm um, sorry, in the comments section. I will leave everything in the description box including all the colors and all the shades and all the different products I use and thank you and have a great day.